Hey everyone, thought I'd give you a different kind of video this week. Not going to go anywhere or see anything. Instead, I'm just going to talk to you. I'm going to talk about life in China versus life in the U.S. I grew up in the U.S., but I've lived in China for over a decade now, so this is a topic of personal interest to me. Before we start, I am going to provide a bit of a disclaimer that I'm from greater Los Angeles and that the only other part of the U.S. I've ever lived in is Oregon. So, of course, I've got a bit of a West Coast bias. Also, I've only lived in major cities in China. I've never lived in rural China, so I can't speak to that as well. And with that out of the way, let's start talking about life in China versus life in the U.S. First thing, China is more crowded. If you've seen my previous videos, you may have noticed this with all the crowded trains and buses I tend to show. It's hardly surprising since the U.S. and China have approximately the same land area, but China has over four times the population of the U.S. The result is very, very crowded cities, the likes of which are almost unknown in the U.S. The east coast of the U.S. maybe comes close with cities like New York, Boston, Washington, D.C., but even these never seem to me to be quite as crowded as Chinese cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. I would say even second-tier Chinese cities like Wuhan, Xi'an, and the like are pretty crowded compared to U.S. cities. One of the effects of this, as I've said, is crowded public transportation. But it's not the only problem. I've gone into a supermarket before to buy milk, gotten the milk, and then never bought it because I just didn't want to wait in the lines at the checkout stands. I'm fortunate these days to live out in the suburbs of Shanghai where I can avoid some of that rat race. There are people, though, who really enjoy the crowds of China, so your mileage may vary. My second point of comparison is convenience. I find China can be so much more convenient than the U.S., and there are several reasons why. One of them is the ease of getting food. Where I lived in the U.S., if I didn't have food at home, I'd need to drive a fair bit to get anything. Here, there's almost always cheap restaurants in walking distance, or a market if I want to cook at home. And if I don't want to leave the house at all, there are a lot of inexpensive delivery apps I can use to get whatever I want to eat. If you want to send things to others, that's also very convenient in China. The post office here is not so great, but there are lots of private couriers that are inexpensive and much more reliable. Uh, if I use SF Express, which is generally viewed as the most reliable and the fastest one, I can get something to anywhere else in China in about a day, and it'll only cost a few dollars in U.S. currency. Getting myself places is also convenient in China. Where I lived in the U.S., relying on public transportation just wasn't convenient since you might have to wait half an hour for the next bus. Where I live in China, that basically never happens. I can walk outside my apartment and be on a bus to the metro station in about five minutes. And once I'm on the metro, the whole city is at my fingertips. I know there are a few parts of the U.S. where you can rely on public transportation more, like New York City, but this seems to be the exception rather than the rule in the U.S. There are certainly inconveniences also for foreigners living in China, such as the need to keep up your visa all the time. But there are many ways in which China is a very convenient place to live. Third point I'm going to talk about today is costs. And this one's quite variable. Um, China has a reputation for being cheaper than the U.S. or other Western countries. And to an extent, that's true. If you're dealing with everyday goods like household items, food, this is usually cheaper unless it's a specialty item. For example, butter and cheese are not used much in Chinese cooking, so they're a good deal more expensive. And if you really want to spend money on food, try eating at foreign restaurants, restaurants serving foreign cuisines. 
Um, Japanese and Korean food, these aren't too expensive, but if you're looking for almost anything else, it will be quite expensive. I've had Turkish food here. I've had uh, Indian food here, Italian food, you name it. It can be really good at the right restaurants, but it will cost you a bunch of money. But if you want to go to those restaurants and you want to take public transportation, that's much cheaper in the U.S. I can get on a bus here for just a few cents in U.S. currency. Same for taking the metro, just a stop or two. The metro here is distance-based fares, but even going all the way to the city will only cost me about a buck fifty. And that is so much cheaper than driving your own car when you consider the costs of gas, insurance, and maintenance, which I completely avoid here since I don't have a car. But another thing that's expensive is electronics, like computers or phones. If I need a new phone, I usually wait till I'm back in the U.S. because even buying an unlocked phone directly from the manufacturer will usually still cost me less than I would have to pay in China. That might seem strange to you because phones are mostly made in China. It is kind of strange, but it's true. If I'm not mistaken, there is a tax on electronics that tends to make them more expensive here in China. But one area you really save money on in China is the cost of labor. Of course, there are delivery apps and express couriers in the U.S. too. But in China, the cost of using them is low enough that you don't have to think twice about using them. And if you don't feel like public transportation, despite how cheap it is, even taxis or rides hailed from apps like DD are much less expensive than in the U.S. So cost of living in China versus in the U.S. is a bit mixed bag. But on the whole, I'd say China probably comes out cheaper. Well, there you have it. That's my brief comparison of life in China to life in the U.S. in three categories. Crowds, convenience, and costs. If you're a foreigner in China, maybe you can let me know in the comments if you agree with my points here. And if you like this video and you want to see any more about my life in China, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.